All right, I've got something else that annoys me. Sorry, I forgot this. I took a note of this last night, so bear with me while I get ready to read it. <clears throat> so, Paul Merson, the gift that keeps on giving, the genius, the magic man, any other name you would like to throw into the hat, feel free. So he was doing his latest article for Sky, and this is what he had to say. Let me just break it down for you. So he was talking about the title race, and he was talking about Liverpool at first. And he said, they go to Arsenal away, and if it goes like the FA Cup game... Uh, no, let me go back again. He said, they play Chelsea at home. You've no idea which Chelsea is going to turn up. They can play that, so that's a hard game. He's talking about our next two league matches. Then he says, then they go to Arsenal away, and if that goes like the way, because that's the way he speaks, the FA Cup game went, then Arsenal will win that game. Before you know it, it's all over for Liverpool. So, just context here. If we lost to Chelsea and lost to Arsenal, Merce says it's all over for Liverpool, right? So, let's just remember that part before I read out the next part. In the very next breath, I think Arsenal are still in the race. They had a big result the other day and they're still there and thereabouts. So, you have to put them in the equation. So, let's do a little bit of maths. For a second. So Liverpool don't pick up any points in the next two league games. And Arsenal win theirs. Puts them one point, I believe, above Liverpool. And they're in the race. But we're out of the race. So Arsenal have beaten somebody. And they're absolutely fine. We could drop some points to Chelsea and, and Arsenal and Tolerance. And we're out of the race. How does that work, Paul? How do Arsenal get to still be in the race and us a point behind or somehow out of the race in that worst case scenario picture you painted there? Did you go to the Gary Neville school of stupidity for talking absolute bollocks? How do people not call them out on this? Does an editor not look at this and go, Merce, that makes no sense, dude. You're staying in one breath if Liverpool, let's look at it like this. Liverpool drew with Chelsea and lose to Arsenal. So we gain one point from the next six. Arsenal win their games. So we're level on points, but they're in the race and we're out of it. Is that what you're saying? And we've already played Arsenal away, Chelsea away, City away, Brighton away, Newcastle away, Spurs away, but we're out of the race. Gotcha. Genius. Thank you for that punditry. I'm so glad now I pay my Sky bill to make sure that you get that. That well-paid job you deserve, Paul Merson, because heaven knows, mate, that insight is fucking genius. Creme de la creme stuff, Paul. Keep it up. Uh, would you take Messi as a manager in the future? Uh, probably not. But does anybody else understand that? Like, it's delusional shit. I am getting told, and you are getting told, what's going to happen by idiots. Don't put the Mersons, the Red Naps, the, all these stupidity... Fucking feast merchants on the TV if nobody's going to just call them out on their stupidity. How can you... It doesn't make sense. And we're supposed to be the irrational ones. The, you know, the football fans. But these are the, the professionals. The pundits. Fuck me. Put me on to host a couple of these shows. And when this shit comes out of somebody's mouth, I'll push back on it. Because apparently nobody else is able to. My God, why? And these are like these guys are getting paid a lot more than you in your life, a lot more than me for what? Because he kicked the football before. He played the game, therefore we have to be subjected to his stupidity forever. Is that? And I don't. It's really starting to get under my skin, <laughs> as you can probably tell. So with Gary Neville saying that Spurs are going to be title challengers or finish above Liverpool or Arsenal, I can barely see them down the table. The bookies don't even have odds on them winning the league. But again, so we've got that pundit telling us that Spurs are ready, they're primed. And then we have Mr. Genius Magic Man Merson telling us that even though the maths doesn't in any way back up what he's saying, that his ramblings are suddenly to be taken seriously as well. Fuck me. 